This is the most expensive coffee in the world. And the reason why they are so expensive might just shock you. There are animals in Indonesia called civets. They first eat the coffee berries from the trees. And when they go number two, the pit comes out. And that is how the coffee is made. It can literally be as expensive as $600 a pound. This is by far the most expensive coffee in the world. And today we're going to be dry aging with it. Hopefully it's going to make the steaks taste incredible. And for that, I'm going to be using these beautiful rib rolls. And the first thing to do as you saw it was to split it in half. We must have a control in order to run this kind of experiment. So this one right here will be dry aged regularly. There's nothing to do but put it on a cooling rack and set it in my dry ager. The next one on the other hand though is a different story. The first thing to do was to go ahead and set down a parchment paper. Next I went ahead and dropped the coffee down. Spread it all out and immediately went in with the meat. Now the key whenever you're dry aging steaks in anything it's to make sure you have complete coverage. This is exactly exactly what I'm trying to do right here. I ensured that every single edge of the steak was fully covered with this expensive coffee. And you might be thinking, how does this coffee smell? It is fantastic. But once everything was fully covered with it, the next thing to do is to go ahead and let it rest in my dry ager for 35 days. Once the time was up, I took it out and look. At first notice, not much has changed. But if you take a deeper look into it, oh boy, things are very dry. This is exactly what you're looking for. So I went ahead and tried to remove as much coffee as possible. And as soon as I did so, I started seeing the meat underneath. But once I was done, here we have the world's first poop coffee dry aged steak. Now I know that does not sound very appealing, but I'll tell you one thing. The smell is really nice. It's a combination of chocolate and wine. Just marvelous. Now the next thing to do, like every other dry aged steak, is to go ahead and remove the outer crust. These are called pellicles. And whenever you're dry aging, this must be discarded. And as I'm removing it, you can clearly see that the oxidation went deep in there. It also means that the flavor of the coffee penetrated deeply inside. That is exactly what we were looking for. But once I was done trimming all of the steaks, in the end I was left with two beautiful specimens. Yes, there is a little bit of oxidation on the edges, but at the same time, they look fantastic. I cannot wait to find out if they're gonna taste great or not. Talking about that, don't forget that we still have the real dry aged one. This one was done for 35 days as well. And I did the same exact process as I did with the previous one. And in the end, I was left with some nice steaks. When I put them side by side, you cannot tell that much differences. We got the expensive coffee steak on the right and the real dry aged one on the left. Now the next important thing here is to get these seasoned. So for that I just season it with a good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper. As the next thing to do is to go ahead and put them on the grill. First I'll be putting a nice wonderful sear. Then I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. As now I say it is enough talking and it is time to grill some beautiful steaks. So let's do it. Alright everybody, here we got our beautiful steaks, gentlemen. Are you guys hungry? Oh yeah, baby. I, I already got hungry. the fork in my hand, bro. This, you're, you're looking dangerous, bro. Oh no, I'm just about to eat some steak. I'm supposed to eat some steak. Okay. <laughs> That's my job. So we got something going on over here. I'm really excited about this steak, everybody. You guys already know, but they have no idea what's going on. I really want your honest opinion on this one, okay? Because I tell you one thing, it costs a ridiculous amount of money. Enough talking, let's dig this yeah. in, all right? So, yes, we're gonna start this direction, please, gentlemen. Let's see, let's dig in. You guys ready for it? I was born ready. Enough talking, let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, oh baby, that's good. This one is not only soft, it's also the tenderness, everybody. Yes. Dry aged. Mm. That's correct, give me five on that. That is such a soft steak, wow. Whenever you dry age, everybody concentrates the flavor, it makes the steak better, and most importantly, mm. it gives a better, higher grading than the steak actually is. So this is a choice, it feels like a prime when you're eating it, everybody. It's just, 
once you dry age a steak, that beefiness just gets amplified and it just makes it more pronounced. It tastes so much better. You can't go wrong with a dry age steak. It's to die for, amazing. Dry age is like beef to the max, bro. That's the best thing in the world. Enough talking, let's jump into the next one. Please, dig in. Gentlemen, let me know your opinion, let's see. Why don't you just dry age a Wagyu steak, bro? I'm thinking about dry aging both of you. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below, everybody. Which one should I dry age first? Smell it and tell me if you smell anything different. I do. Yeah, definitely a different smell here. Let's give it a try. Enough talking. All right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, oh that's surprisingly dude. good. Wow. This tastes like a dark roast. Like a dark roast. Like a dark roast coffee. I think it has a very complex flavor profile on this. It's got some nuttiness. It's got some chocolatiness almost. What also has a lot of flavor is the beef juices. This, when you take a bite, those beef juices have a lot of richness, a lot of different types of flavor in there. It's really hard to describe. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I am struggling right now. By the way, I dry aged this in coffee, but not any Makes coffee. Sense. Not any coffee. The most expensive coffee in the world. Don't tell me. Don't you dare tell me. You put cat shit all over the steak. The purple coffee is pretty good. Yo, this is fine. I wish you didn't tell me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. Remember, everything I use is always in the description down below. If you have not gotten my book yet, everybody, I highly recommend it. It awesome. is out now. There is recipes about everything, dry age experiments, side dishes, anything you want is in this book. My top, top recipe Piece. To be specific, 100 of them. You will enjoy quite a bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.